Chanel. Hello, you Virgos. Hello, you Virgos. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Virgos. Okay, so you Virgos, this is the third quarter. Let's see what's happening. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the fourth quarter of the year 2019. And this is the energy vibration reading for the Virgos. Please remember to check out the general reading because there's a lot of information that is going to be at the general reading, whatever the issue is in situation, general reading. And we also have the extended reading. And I have uh, taken back some hours because a lot of you wasn't aware that you were getting a hour reading for a dollar ninety nine. Now I've ended that. So let's see what's it's coming out. Now the energy of the tower, the devil, and the moon is the en the general energy vibration for this quarter, and we're going to be checking out what is happening for you, Virgos. Okay. So we have the energy of the devil, whatever the issue is and the situation is, we have the energy of the devil. Now the devil energy is coming up and that is in the month of November, but it comes up. But whatever you're dealing with, whatever negative energy that you're dealing with, the tower energy, the general energy is going to remove the slow and negative energies from your life. So this is good because the general energy is the energy of the tower in um in october and what is transpiring and what is happening is that you have the energy of the devil so something that was holding you bonding you and uh, and, and keeping you to uh, um, uh, a negative situation that was affecting you outside influence or what however that was it's now blown up the tower um, movement has it because the general energy is the energy of the tower so um always go check out the general energy because that's um what is happening but um what is transpiring for you guys is that the tower the energy of the moon you have secrecy there is secrecy um this is in november this is also a day of the general energy that is coming out that is affecting you virgos in november you have the energy of the moon secrets lies um your enemies but they can't reach you okay so most of you are going to be protected from the negative energies and negative people who have been harassing you so obviously some of you are dealing with either outside influence or people that has tried to bond you to situations and uh, you are releasing yourself from them. And in November, you're going to be realized that they can't touch you anymore because the energy of the moon, you can see how that moon is showing up and the energy of the moon is showing you that your enemies are, they are howling because they can't reach to you anymore because you have uh, um, blocked them and they can't reach to you anymore so these outside influence um, um, what is going to happen is that the tower moment is coming down for them and the energy of the devil um, with the energy of the moon is saying that you have a negative um, influence that was affecting your life but they can no longer um, touch you okay because they're holding because they realize that the, the, you know um, I think they can't look at the energy of the moon and and that's it um, so um, you know this is good because whatever is transpiring is that in this last fourth quarter it's going to be um, a resolve okay then we have um, the energy of the eight of cups so, so um, this is, um, this is, um, some of you are going to be leaving this energy behind you. Okay. And it has to do with the lovers. There is the energy of the lovers in December. So this is going to be good. This is really positive. December is going to be your best month. So you Virgos, December is really, really going to be your best month whatever is happening December is going to be your best month so whatever the issue is whatever the situation is December is really going to be your best month so let's check out there is a lot of negative influence that is coming at you and your relationship or you and your family or you and your partner Whoever and whatever is transpiring, you got to be careful because this is obviously that it's as if some of you were bone bounded by a negative entity entities. Okay. It's as if some of you were bounded by negative entities or there's negative entities that was affecting you outside 
um, effect that was coming in negative entities outside effect that was coming in and this is what is really happening and transpiring and you are here seeing the moon and the situation and the issues that is coming up and transpiring so what is happening and what is transpiring December is going to be your best best month so let's see for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign we have the energy of the devil and the moon and it has to do with the Prince of Cups the Prince of Cups now this Prince of Cups is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, this person is between age of 18 and 45 yeah it is a Prince of Cup is between the ages of 18 and 45 okay whoever this Prince Prince of Cups is there is some negative energies um, that this person you could be finding out that um, this person has created or is having or carries negative energies okay and um, and um, now you're understanding um, what is happening and what is going on okay now you're understanding what is happening and what is going on because whoever this um, negative forces outside forces because I'm seeing um, for some of you you could be in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio and this person either attract negative energies or there's a neg negative energy by this person that is affecting your relationship okay and it could be um, people use a negative energy to kind of um, bound you guys because you can see this it can be a cancer um, and some of you are going to be finding out if you were in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that this person has basically um, use their power wrongly this person has basically used their power wrongly um, some of you are going to be finding this out okay there is really some deceptive move if you are in a relationship with um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to be finding out that this person has used their power because the energy of the the devil is an Aries okay and you're going to be finding out that this person has used their powers in the wrong way so you need to get out of that relationship this if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius they could be using negative forces to control you nine of swords there are some worries and the worries is coming up because you have enemies um, you definitely have enemies whatever is going on um, you have some worries to deal with um, 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 a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio but for some of you is that this person could be the one who is creating Ten of Cups, happiness and joy. This is going to be resolved. Okay, so you're coming out of the month, the quartals, happiness and joy. So, um, whatever the negative energies that, that was coming at you people, because I was seeing that in the month of December, um, some of you are going to be worried. Okay, um, uh, but it's going to be okay, um, especially with people who are married. I'm seeing some worries, but it's it's going to be okay. We're going to be looking that and, and at that and see why is the the worries okay. Um, what I should also say. Um, what I should also say is that. Uh, whatever is transpiring it's going to be working out okay some of you were worried if you're in a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpion or you're just worried about your relationship because the energy of the devil is here because um october november and december there was some negative influence that was affecting um your relationship but not to worry um this quarter is going to be ending up where um the family is okay and there's happiness and joy you have the ten of cups okay so we're definitely um, going to be looking at what is transpiring because the energy of the lover is powerful so um, married people people in relationship there could be some worries we're going to be looking at the worries to see what this is worries but it's as if the universe is saying you don't have to worry because things are going to be working out there was just negative influence that was affecting your relationship and this is going to be ending some of you whatever is happening is that 
um, whoever and definitely and is there are people who are um, affecting you with negative energies okay your relationship so you burgers need to be careful because there is um, um, negative influence where people are affecting your relationships okay so you gotta be aware of what is happening but um, the outcomes is going to be the ten of cups and this is going to be good so congratulations okay let's see the energy of the devil um what came up you Virgos, the alchemist okay so for some of you Virgos, what could be happening is that um um you could uh, okay let's say you're in the fifth dimension and you can ask to travel you could travel ask to travel and then bring back this lower entity okay and for the people who um um, whose soulmate is in the spiritual realm in the astral realm um, you could bring back this 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 energy so um, a lot of people are not aware of um, that with sex um, you can attract negative energy okay so let's say that you are always thinking about sex you basically attract negative energies to yourself because it's the crave is 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 um you have an obsession uh, it's a crave and you have this obsession so you will um, um, and um, you know entice negative energy and that's why it is good not to sleep without clothes because sleeping without clothes is uh, um, actually inviting negative entities uh, to have sex with you okay and a lot of people are not aware of this but again ladies and gentlemen we're not on this planet alone now um, the negative energy for you um, Virgos your own self come in and it comes up with alchemists so obviously alchemists is where people use negative energy voodoo whatever you wake up you may call it that is how people use negative energy is because they tap in the unseen world and they use um, the energies from the unseen world to hurt other people so the alchemist so obviously this is the influx of negative energies and it could be coming from an Aries for some of you okay so alchemist uh, once you hear about alchemist just like there's good magic there's negative there's and there's negative magic there's white magic and there's black magic okay then um, we have uh, um, the enemies now the energy of the moon is always the energy of the scorpion and the spices, the, the illusion, um, the illusi, okay? And the outlook, that the ascendant from the outlook. And this is what is transpiring is that you're seeing um, over the veils of the illusion, okay? You're seeing over the veils of the illusion. You're seeing the outlook that you have seen over the veil of the illusions from uh, from because someone was trying to use elusiveness uh, to control you so it could be a scorpion or a Pisces uh, that was trying to use elusiveness negative energies um, elusiveness is always alchemist is always using negative forces uh, to um, to affect you and that was what was transpiring okay so you got to be aware of this <coughs> okay <coughs> you got to be aware of this you got to be understanding and there I cough so it's true and I was thinking about something so it's true and I was I get it, a, a message from the guides now relationship in um in 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 the month of um, December is going to be your best best month and relationships in December is going to be good okay if you're in a relationship with a cancer it's going to be good but in December some of you are going to be connecting with the roots connecting with the roots that's why you have the outcomes with the energy of a happy family because it's December a lot of people are going to be reconnecting with people if you're in relationships some of you might choose to go in relationship with a cancer and this is going to be a good positive relationship okay it's going to be um, a very healthy relationship so again December is the best now some of you if you're in a relationship with a cancer I'm seeing you having a lot of worries okay so whatever is transpiring with some of you who are having a relationship with a cancer I see a lot of worries but it's as if they're saying there's no need to be worried because 
it's definitely a cancer because remember these two came up but they're saying it's no need to worry it's going to be okay so let's check out and see and some of you are going to be finding out that a Pisces or a cancer was using negative energies to have control over you okay love Venus some of you are definitely are going to be in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio between the ages of 18 and 45 this is the love of your life this is uh, um, who you were meant to be with but there is negative forces that is intervening and these negative forces are coming from people and situation outside so whoever you're with if you're with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this is why the worries come up this is the love of your life and there are negative forces that is coming from outside that is coming within okay okay um the worries the nine of swords um has to do with saturn is going to be um coming in and removing this worry so whatever worries you were having whatever situation that was transpiring the worries that you were having about your relationship saturn is going to come in and release this worries saturn is going to come in and break away and move away the worries that you were having with relationship whatever the energy with saturn that comes up is just going to be coming in and really removing the negative energies the negative forces whatever worries that you were having Saturn is going to be coming in and releasing you from this worries okay the ten of cups um, there is definitely an healing that is coming to a family um, a family was affected by negative forces negative influence and an healing is coming in to this family okay some of you might um, be um, innovative enough to bring healing to a family situation okay it's, it's, it's as if you realize um, what is transpiring and what was transpiring and then you're going to be bringing healing um, to this family issue this family situation and healing is going to be coming in to this family um, situation because some of you were dealing with outside forces that was affecting not only your relationships your marriages um, but this is going to be healed okay and whenever Saturn comes in because a lot of you have been worried and whatever Saturn comes in Saturn is like bringing down the shit okay Saturn is like hell no no way it's not gonna happen Saturn is like bringing down the shit okay and and that is exactly what is transpired and what is happening and Saturn is bringing this down so um we're asking the um the Serenonas and the Virgo what is that all about uh, definitely so some of you Virgos was in a relationship um, some of you Virgos your marriage or your relationship were affected by negative forces your marriage and your relationship are affected by negative forces um, you got to be aware some of you are dealing with a young Pisces cancer and scorpion um, and this is um, uh, this is a very deceptive person okay so some of you are dealing with a some of you are dealing with a young Pisces cancer and scorpion person it's a very deceptive person okay um, it is a fa it can be a family member for some of you as some of you it's not a family member but I need to know is someone you're in a relationship so some of you are in a relationship with a young uh, Pisces cancer scorpion between the age of 18 and 45 is a very deceptive person it has to do with Venus the planet of love so obviously this can be a family member or you are in a relationship with this person this person carries negative energy or work with negative energy you gotta be aware of who this person is because they're not really nice so um, there is someone Amanda is listening to this and you are with a Pisces cancer scorpion this person is very deceptive they work with negative influence energy okay 
so that is something some of you or who are in a relationship you Virgos who are in relationship maybe with another Virgo um, there is negative influence between you and this person it is a marriage if you're married and with another Virgo there is negative influence um, and it's coming from outside um, and some of you um, your partner is having um, an astro relationship where in sleep time they are sleeping with an entity and this is bringing um, conflicts in your life okay that's for some of you okay in the month of November what can happen um, is that you have a strong foundation over um, your enemies okay you have a strong foundation as you notice um, with this energy um, you're far up and your enemies are unable to reach you you're very far up and your energy your um, your thing is unable to reach you so there is definitely 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 there is some negative influences that is happening and you have a strong foundation December is going to be a very very good month um, the energy of the star is here in December it's going to be a very very positive month so check out the on demand reading to see what is coming up for you and the lovers in December a very positive energy um, that is going to be coming up uh, in December the worries is going to be over Saturn is coming in to release you from this negative entity and this negative energy so whatever is transpiring Saturn is coming in to release you from this net this worries this negative energy Saturn is going to be removing and ripping something out okay Saturn is going to be coming up removing and ripping someone something out some of you who are in a relationship with a friend this is going to become a very close-knit relationship this is going to be very very close okay this relationship is going to last for a very long time happiness and joy is going to be returning okay it's as if if you also decide to go in business with your partner it's going to be a good idea so if you decide to go in business with your partner it's going to be a very good idea I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen whenever the energy of the seven but you're dealing with a family member or it's a family member because there's love Venus love okay magnetism uh, diplomacy charming and that sort of a thing so it's a family member this seven what is this all about it can be a child why yeah the cloud is on that and, and a surprise okay some luck is here okay so here we go remember we had um, the Pi the young Pisces cancer or scorpion there was a young Pisces cancer or scorpion okay and um, it has to do with Venus the planet of love so this person comes back to heal love with you now we had the snake okay we had the snake the snake is decept deceptiveness jealousy and hate okay so whoever you are dealing with this could be a, a niece a nephew a cousin whatever there was or this could be a past love or a sister or a brother there was some hate jealousy but this is now clearing up and an unexpected surprise is going to be coming in a very unexpected surprise is going to be coming in okay and some luck is on your side I, I always always look whenever the energy of the snake because the energy of the snake is negative forces negative energies forces and if you notice what is happening is that this came after so the clouds with the negative action that was happening um, with the Prince of cups because this Prince of cups is really a family member or someone you were you had a relationship with or was in a relationship with okay because this person is very very jealous jealous heart whatever and they had outward forces they were working with and as I asked about this issue this situation I got this I got the clouds and the part of the clouds is there's an unexpected surprise that is going to be coming in so 
um, this is so good because whatever that was happening between you and that family member, it was not a healthy situation. Okay, something was happening with you and that unexpected uncertainty and uncertainty happiness is going to be coming in. Okay, uncertainty happiness is going to be coming in because it's as if you have to um heal a situation so there's going to be uncertainty happiness that is going to be coming in it's like happiness is there but it's uncertainty because there is negative influence that is happening okay then we have happy family again so whatever is going on for um you um virgos the outcomes is happy family the how comes is happy family so if there was issues in a family issues in a relationship with a family whatever issues that there was with family relationship and situation um there is definitely going to be a happy family twice a happy family ten of cups a happy family the healing of the heart is new vitality so this is good this is uh, um new vitality is coming in in the family connection and this is so wonderful and so positive new vitality is coming in in the family um, dimension okay so let's me look at your numbers be careful um, ladies and gentlemen be careful of someone who is a Pisces cancer scorpion between the age of 18 and 45 there is some hate and jealousy but unexpected surprise something is going to be resolved because I'm seeing luck is going to be coming up okay uh, 15 15 15 15 that is six nine seven okay so we have six nine and seven for you guys six nine and seven one six nine and seven yeah one six nine and seven is about um, repairing a family situation It's about repairing your relationship and it's about um, repairing family issues and situation okay hood vitality is coming in and this is going to be positive I am wishing you guys a wonderful um, fourth quarter until next time Thank you.